It's a wave. Let's see. Okay, good. All right, everybody. It's Friday. I know that because I woke up this morning with no chalk line around my body, so I'm doing good. It's what time is it, man? Noon. Yeah, that means 12 o'clock. It's Festool Friday, right? But it's yep. time for Festool Live, episode 151. Thank you, Derek, for that. He gave me the hand signals. He knows how to count. I don't. All right, let's introduce the room because we have a celebrity in the room. Over here, we have Big D in the teal cat hey, hattie. Behind the camera is Chip. Chip! <laughs> Over here, we have Min Min. Hi, everybody. All right, cool. And, I, and online, we have Brent. Uh, working the, uh, the, the interwebs for us, answering all the questions. That's how us old dudes say inter internet, the interwebs. Okay, everybody. I have to say, Chris the unit, Cybert, is on vacation again. I don't know if he likes us anymore. <laughs> you know, I was like, what's going on? He's gone fishing. Minnie, yes. this is like in the last month he's been fishing on Friday, twice. Yeah. Hmm, something's up. And we don't even see any pictures of these fish. No kidding. Something seems fishy. Mm. Good one, Big D, so you know what he said? Something seems fishy. Mm. So unit, if you're, if you're probably out on the lake. Have fun, we miss you already. This is your last PTO of the year. All right, everybody, <laughs> today, I, oh my God, this is so much fun today. Um, you can see, Chip, let's just scan the room. Today we're talking about this. This is why I started today. I want to talk about the CT25 and why. But look at all the dust extractors we have. Look at all of these. It's incredible. So we just released on Wednesday the CT25. And I wanted to do a, um, a festival live on this for the simple reason is we released this, I think last year, everybody, the CT15. 20, was it 2020 or 2021? Yeah, 2021. Okay, so <laughs> I went to go look at the Festool Live we did on a CT15. Big D, you remember we did that? That was a while ago. Minnie, remember the uh, Festool Live we did on the CT15? You bet. Chip, you don't, don't remember. Don't remember. Neither do I because I went and looked at it. I never did one. <laughs> I think I had it. I mentioned it, but I never did a why. Why did Festool come out with a CT15? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know really quick. CT15, CT25. Okay? There, let's get this right. And Chip, you're really good like me. They are identical. What movie? Oh, come on, you put me on the spot. You know it, Chip. I do know Identical. Put it in the comments, everybody. All right, and you'll get it. You'll get it in a, in a minute. Uh, okay. Um, so whiz. they're identical except for what? You'll see it right here, 15 and 25. It's the capacity of them. So I was talking to Garrett recently, and because he was on the phone with a customer, and I overheard his conversation, and it's to this day, it's probably the number one dust extractor question we have. Which one do I need? And uh, the question is always from us is what are you using it for, okay? But there's, because of the CT15 and CT25, there's another question to ask you, and you'll hear me out on this because I will get to that question, okay? Why did we come out with CT15? Why did we come out with CT25? And I'll get, I'll, uh, by the end of Festool Live, I will be there. But let's look really first at our lineup of dust extractors. I could tell you right now, if I turned all these on, you would pretty much say, oh, they have the same CFM. That's the cubic feet per minute. Okay, what's the suction rate on it? Okay, if I turn this one on, which I did, I did a full, this is the cordless CTC SIS. Okay, this has a lower CFM, but, but it still has great suction rate. 
where I'm going to I'm going to call these out really quick. The CTC MIDI, it, that's the cordless version of the CT MIDI. The CT 15 and the CT25 all have 130 CFM. All these stats are on the web. You'll see them, no worries. But the 26, 36, 48, CT36 AC, that's why I have them off to the side, auto clean, and CT48, auto clean, okay? They all have 137 CFM. Guess what? You won't remember that. Uh, I mean, you won't tell the difference on them. I can feel a slight difference in there, but if you go back to the episode I did on the CTC SIS, hopefully I'm getting all my, <laughs> I'm doing okay with all my acronym, all my uh, abbreviations. This one had a lower CFM. I believe it's around 85, 90. Uh, I'm not positive. You can check it up online. It still has killer, killer suction rate. So I wanted to make sure you understood that you barely will ever be able to tell the difference between 130 and 137 CFM. So why or what puts you into the right realm of which one's for me? You get a look at the capacity, what the bag holds. Okay, yes, because it's a bag system. I'll go over that in a few minutes. This is a one gallon. These two, which are either corded or cordless, and that's the MIDI, are four gallon. This is seven gallon, the CT26. The CT36 is 9.5. The CT48 is 13. And the same with the, uh, the auto cleans, okay, in their realm. Where, if we look over here, the CT15 was four gallons. Hmm. That makes me think those are the same basically as the middies. Hmm, and this is where I'm gonna create that funnel for your decision making. And now with the CT25 at 6.6, .6, basically seven gallons, why do we have these in our lineup, okay? <sighs> to accommodate you. In other words, you don't need all the bells and whistles on like these larger units or these units here. You're just gonna use it for maybe under the capex, or you're going to use it for this. You don't need a Bluetooth. You don't need locking casters. You don't need a system dock where you put your sustainers on. Follow me? So if we can eliminate a few of those things, guess what you're gonna save? Some coin in your wallet. That's why we came out with the 15, and now we're coming out with the CT25. Okay, so. Let's talk about that. I'm going to take them down and I'm gonna show you where they segue in. I'm gonna grab this in. I'll go over the features in a moment, but I wanna get this out of the way. Look, this is four gallon. This is seven gallon, okay? If this is seven gallon, and I don't need all the bells and whistles, like this can't take Bluetooth. Big deal, maybe you don't need Bluetooth, right? It doesn't have a locking caster system. It doesn't have a place on top that you can lock your sustainers. Big deal. You don't need that? Let's save some money. Okay. Um, I'm going to quote rough money on this. You can go and look on it because I know we do this for North America and Canada has a different price point than us. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to save from the CT26 same capacity about a little over $300 which is incredible because you may not need all those, what? Um, a set, uh, a features on there. And if you're looking at a CT MIDI and it's four gallons, well, this is seven gallons, that's three more gallons, right? You're gonna save some money there. And if I did my math right, you're gonna save about $200. So I just, we just wanted to create a different price point for you, the customer to get you into our system to understand the dust extraction. Now, or you may have a 26 and you realize, oh, for my Capex, you know, I don't want, I, I need this. I, I don't need the Bluetooth. I don't need, because I can still look, plug in. My Capex is not battery operated or the KS120 is, okay? You don't need it. So that's why we did it. I did, and that's the big bogey there. It puts you into 
a price point okay where you still get all the great dust extraction you need so the other thing i was talking to travis about i go hey when you're out and about and you're showing this to people what are the top two things he goes well price okay but the for decision making we could save two or three hundred dollars and the capacity because the 15 is four gallon and this is seven gallon roughly or 6.6 .6 gallon i don't want to change the bag all the time but then he really enlightened me when he said, it fits under the Capex UGG stand. And I went, huh? So what I want to show you is I'm just going to take the hose off. We're going to talk about it now. The hose is stored on top, not in the docking system here. I'll cover that in a minute. But I wanted to point this out today. If I can, I'll unplug it. It's got a five meter cord, 16 foot. <laughs> Chip was asking me, how are you going to get that in there? So when I say it fits under the UGG stand, okay, it does. You got to tuck it in like this, which I did yesterday, okay? And you're going to rearrange it like this, and you're on the job site like this. The hose comes up, and you plug it in, okay? So I just wanted to point that out. On the job site, that makes a difference. And right here, I'm going to take it out. Easy peasy. Same thing with all our dust extractors. You plug the tool in here and it comes on automatically. So I'm going to plug it in and let's go over this machine. Everything I show you. <laughs> oh, okay, it is. Hey, you haven't guessed it? Chip, you're as good as me. Maybe Graham from Australia got it. Minnie just wrote it. Let's get it. Right here, Chip. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. My cousin Vinny, one of the two youths. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the, uh, so we you hold your anti static hose. Yes, this is anti static. All right. This is the hose that comes with it. It's held on top of the bungee cord. That's what the CT15 has too. If we look on top here, and this is a great area to rest <laughs> a tool when not using, I take it and depress it here, and this is nice as well. Inside here is where you store your cord. It does not come with a hose wrap. You store your cord here. But we also include a crevice tool for cleanup and an upholstery tool, and these are a couple of our top selling um, uh, dust extraction connections. You plug in right here, okay, just like this. You lead it out with this notch, and you, my friends, are good to go. If I'm storing my hose inside, there's a little notch here. I can bring it in here and wrap my cord, and my hose goes right on top. Easy, easy. No frills. Now, right here, you see how it's blanked off right here? On the CT MIDI and CTC, I'm gonna pull this off, we have the manual auto clean. That's not on there as well. So you're gonna save, that's where we can save some money for you. Good. In other words, we listen to you. You would say, oh, we don't need this, we don't need this, you don't need this. Okay, some people do. In fact, the majority of you do. But hey, can I get a, you know, can you take those away and I don't need them and maybe give me a better a deal? And we did. Okay, let's turn it on. It's pretty simple. See that button right there? It means on. <laughs> and it's automatically in auto. There's not an extra knob to switch between manual and auto. You plug your tool in here, you're ready to go. That means it's in auto. Right here, manual, it starts your suction and it's a constant. Now, you know this because of other, I can actually lower the suction rate and I'm gonna turn that off. And the reason I wanna talk about that is because in other episodes, whether sanding or dust extraction basics, I talked about why variable suction. It's to release the surface tension of your paper to the product you're sanding and it actually floats the sander so you'll have less swirl marks. That's why variable suction. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn it on again and bring it all the way up. 
Now there's a, there's another there's another thing about this that used to be on the CT22 and CT33. I have those at home. And we got rid of them on these top models here because I don't think people really truly understood them. But it's back and it came back with a CTC SIS and it's on the CT15 and it's on the MIDI. And a lot of you have probably purchased those dust extractors and you don't even know this feature and I think it's great. Right here on the side, as I open this up, there's a port here and that's where air comes out here and also on this side. Okay, it's part of how you create a vacuum. But if I take this now and I put it right in here like this, that blower port can get direction here. And I can blow all kinds of things off. Whoa, there was some dust on top of that one. But I can blow things off. In other words, it's, it's not a lot of pressure. So if I have to clean my filters here, I would suggest buying a CT25 so you have a way of blowing out your filters. I'm just kidding. But if you really think about it, to have a blower port, and I use this when the CTC originally came out, I was making some big tables and I started blowing off in between uh, finishes and sanding. And what happened is some, it, I was using compressed air, some water was coming out. Mm. There is no water condensation with this. It's dry air. So it's really nice. You don't have to worry about it. So if you have to blow things off, blow things out, this is fantastic feature. So I thought I'd call it out and it's part of the CT15 and 25. Woo! Get them while supplies last. Let's look inside because I'm gonna cover the bag in here. It is a separate bag. In other words, <coughs> the CT15, the MIDI I, and the Mini I, which is discontinued here in North America, all take the same bag as long as they were, what? After 2019 release, okay? The CT25 takes its own bag, and it's because this goes down on top. I'm gonna turn it over so we can look inside, do a little dust extraction uh, training. When this gets full and you get a periodic check it, it will get full, full, full. To turn it off and to, when you throw it away, we call them, what, dust caps. This pulls down like this, shuts it off so you don't breathe it as you toss it in the dumpster. To put it in, you take it like this and like this and it locks in. It automatically centers it off to the side so this port goes in there. Now. On the side of your machine, you have this handle, and you're gonna see what it is. This comes equipped with a HEPA filter, okay? To clean a HEPA filter, you take it outside to the side of the dumpster or uh, trash receptacle, and you tap it clean. You really do not take compressed air out of a compressor and blow it because you're gonna blow a hole in it. Now, there's another feature of this Yes, we have replacement filters. These are the same ones as the MIDI, the Mini, old Mini, or the newest one, which is discontinued, and also the CT15. So this is the 25. These are all the same. This is a foam filter, and it goes in here like this. And why a foam filter? This can be a great, and I mean great, fantastic, wet vac. So I could take this tab like this, lift it out, you take the bag out, and you put the foam filter. Because as water is coming in here through this port, right, and filling up, foam comes up, okay? And this protects the turbine from co uh, condensation going in. It breaks the foam here until it gets to the level to shut off, because it's an electronic shut off. See these two tabs right here? When water reaches this level in the tub here, it makes connectivity and shuts off. So it makes a great wet vac. But once again, take the bag out. <laughs> Just like this. Very important step. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on. Oh, speaking of bags. 
Don't walk out of your dealer without a box of bags replacement. Somebody asked me early on, how long does a bag last? It all depends on what you're doing, isn't it? And someone says, well, I'm sanding houses. And my next question is, is it a birdhouse <laughs> or a house house, <laughs> right? It's all relative. It's like our CXSs, our drills. Hey, how many screws are you going to get out of a single charge? I go, is it a one inch threaded uh, machine screw or a what, six inch lag? It all depends on what you, you know, drilling. Okay, so this bag here is called the Long Life Bag. It's a reusable bag. You open it up and you empty it. And to empty it, it's these tabs right here. I always gotta remember how to do this. You pull them up like this, pull it out like this, and what, dump it in the dumpster. Okay, now, let me get this back. <laughs> I'm always messing this up. There we go, I'm gonna lock it back down, okay? Remember that blast gate I had on that paper one in there? You don't want to breathe that stuff as you're transporting it out to the dumpster. So you have this little blast gate. It comes over here and closes it off. Yes, does Festool always think about the little things we do? And it's thinking about your health and your safety. So there you go. That is what we call the long life bag. Now, I don't, I don't show people this for like sand or anything if you're doing a lot of heavy chip and you're going through a lot of bags, that is when you do that. Because ultimately, as you're emptying this, you're gonna breathe a little in. That's why you're high, never mind. <laughs> okay, so that's, why, so, <laughs> so that's why you're higher. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the foam filter out. I'm gonna put in, what? My HEPA filter. I'm gonna lock it in, lock it in. Those are your filters, there's replacements. Don't leave home without them. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> I just gotta check here. Did I go over everything? Wow, that was easy. Emphasis for you, Travis, it fits underneath, because he's been asked that question a hundred times, he said already, it fits under the UG stand. I'm gonna just check everything. I think that's it. Any other questions? I think Brent's probably got all of them. Yeah. He did, huh? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. That's it. But it's not that's it. It is a great way for you to make a decision if you need a bell or a whistle and what's important to you. So I just wanted to make sure that was covered. And at the same time, I did a twofer. I did a, <laughs> I looked and looked and looked yesterday about the CT15 live and I never did one. So there you go. Now I have the 15 and 25. It's your decision. I think I covered everything I needed to cover. Okay, two utes. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is my favorite. You like that? From Cousin Vinny. Yes. Yes, that was it was a It was a high anus crime. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's the movie. You can watch three, four, five times, and you always pick up a new line because you forgot about it. I was, uh, who was, oh, wait a minute. Who was the female? We know it was Joe Pesci. Who was the female? I can't remember her name, but I love her. You got it. Chips got it, man. I just saw a, I was cruising YouTube, and I just saw her. And it was a clip from uh, my cousin Vinny, Marissa Torme. All right, everybody. Woo! Here we go. The didn't oh my God, the pause traction. It was a two step. Okay. Hey, we have Andrew from Toledo, Ohio. I'm going to call everybody out. We have Ray from Pensacola, Florida. Mike M from Austin, Texas. I'm coming to see you, Mike. We have Julian from Lausanne, Switzerland. Jeff from Clarksburg, Maryland. Mark S from Woodcraft in Springfield. And they're having a festival experience tomorrow. Hey, thank you, Mac. Everybody head out to Woodcraft and Springfield. We have Richard and George, and he's, I think, the sleeping dog in Newcastle Tyne, England. We have Merlin from Walla Walla, Washington. We have Daniel from Baratwitzel, Switzerland. Hopefully I'm saying it right. We have Des. We have Harrogate Des from Menorica. He's on vacation. Oh, he's on vacation? He's always in Harrogate. 
He is. He's not. And that's why you call him Harrogate Thess. Yes. Okay, I get it now. Where's Menorca? No idea. Anybody know where Menorca is? Shout it out, everybody online. Des, tell us where Menorca is. I think it's uh, yeah, somewhere. Is fishing with Chris. Is, hey, hey, are you fishing with Chris? <laughs> hey, are you hanging out with the unit? All right. We have Rick from Sunny Blackpool, UK. We have Petri from Yolarvi, Finland. Petri, you're always there with us. Thank you. Jason from Fenton, Michigan. Paul. Cheryl and Sam from Anthem, Arizona. We have Michelle from Paris, France. Dale from Swedelink, England. Edric from Citrus Height, California. We have the Woodcraft from Dayton. You're always watching with us, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We have New Fall from Morocco. That's cool. Minnie, have we had Morocco before? No, for a long time. Not for a long time. Hey, welcome back, Nawful. We have Blake Weber. Hey, have you guys ever heard of him? Yes, he's there every week with us from Novato, California. Hey, Blake. We have Chris from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Anthony from Staten Island, New York. Gary from Beers with the Boys. Jason and Yana from Granite Falls, Washington. Ed, Ed from Douglasville, Georgia. Philip from Germany. Dana from Yalcult, Washington. How are you, brother? We have Bermuda Steve. Whew. We have Bo from Alabama. Oh, my God, there he is. It's him. He's back. It's Dirk from Dayton. How the heck are you, Dirk? All right, we have Chris from Malta. Chris, you're always there. Jerry G from Sugar Grove, Illinois. We <laughs> Everybody still corrects me. Hey, we have Michael from Edmonton. We have Doug from Zionsville. We have Monty from Canton, Connecticut. I know from Wally Wijik. I'm saying it wrong. I apologize. Mac from Anaheim. Tom and Kelly from Georgia. Tom and Kelly, you're always with us. We have Jurgen from Delft, the Netherlands. We have David from Owen Mills, Merrigan. Uh, Merrigan. Good try. So close. Maryland. Maryland. Okay, Joshua from Sun City. Santa, Florida. Jacob from Rhode Island. Carrie from Dallas, Texas. Spark Trish, and that's you, Willie. I know you're in Virginia. We have Gerald from Derrida, Louisiana. There he is, everybody. It's Johnny O from Atco, New Jersey. We have Dick from Katy, Texas. Ray from Prague, Czech Republic. Good job. That's pretty cool. All right. We have Soren from Denmark. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so, oh, that's, you, hey, I haven't told you, you guys blow me away, man, this is so cool. We have Dan from Whitestone, New York, John from West Fairley, Virginia, we have El L Wood, Elwood from Knott's Knott, Panty, Fenderwin, Peniel, Carmarathon, North Wales. I'm getting better. I know I am, Lubin. We have Ken from Granite Bay, California. Mark from Krimpen on the Lek, Netherlands. Yazoo from Para, Maribo, Suriname. Minnie, are you grouping those all together? Doing my best. Holy, oh, there she is, and she's with Dave. And it's Gwen from West Virginia. We have Double D, the Dizzle. From Northwest Arkansas. Is it Arkansas or Arkansas? Yes. Okay. Hey, we have David from Southwest France. Ant, my main man, Ant from Fontana. Matt from Newark, Ohio. Sawempa from Homestead, Sweden. Sweden. We have Mac from Walney Island, England. Paul from Reading, Berkshire, UK. We have Rowingo from Springfield, Ohio. We have the process server. <laughs> I'm not going to get served again from Greenwich, London. <laughs> oh, no, please, not again. Russ from Chichester. Russ, you're awesome. i got to tell you, you're awesome. We have Giev from Shaker Heights, Ohio. Dan, my main man, Dan from Kingman, Arizona. Chris and Ollie from Katona, New York. My bike touring from Greece. Okay, David from Israel, Brad from LaGrange, Indiana, Chuck from West Virginia, Jimmy from Nebraska, John from Fort Myers, Florida, Leo from Holland, you're always there with Leo with us, John from Las Vegas, Joe, our main man, Joe from Akron, Ohio, Claude from Luxembourg, hey, is that a first time in Luxembourg? Yes. Woo! Welcome, Luxembourg. We have Anne from Maine, Anne, is that Annie? Is that my sister? I wonder. Is it? I think so. 
Karen. Yep, who's there? Woo! What's up, big sis? How are you? Believe it or not, that's my twin. She's just a little bit older than me. Hey. And one of my best friends in life. I love you, sis. All right, we have Kenneth from Oak Pack, Illinois. Thomas from Copenhagen, Denmark. Go get my clogs. Ricardo from Lake Como, Italy. Jed from Holland. Maddie from Cincinnati, Ohio. Frank from Downers Grove, Illinois. Spensley Design. How the heck are you, Eric? From Columbus, Ohio. Rob from South Devon, England. Chris from Louisville. Steve, <coughs> the Toolmeister, Oregon. <coughs> Mike C. from Virginia. Virginia. Ed from the Big Island. Yeah. What's up, brah? Give me some hammer jang, man. Warren from Batavia, Ohio. <laughs> Garrett. Hey, by the way, Ed from the Big Island. Garrett is now teaching me pigeon, so get ready, brah. We have John from Columbus, Ohio. Robin from La Mirada, California. Steven from Nebraska. Robbie Juan Kenobi from Texas. David from Tigrid, Oregon. GGB Design in Texas. Bobby G from Belgium. We have Will Van Dyke. Will Van Dyke from the Netherlands. We have Joseph from Bellevue, Nebraska. We have Clint from San Rafael, California. Uh oh. Whose presidential library is in San Rafael? Oh, no, no, that's San Clemente. No. Nixon. Hey, we have Chris from Belgium, Ben from UK. I think I may be wrong on that, but I think it's very close. Okay, okay, hey, we have, what's this one up here? Be Bail Arc Balearic Island in Spain. Wow, it gets keep getting better and better and better. We have Chip. Oh, no, I wrote those. Okay. <laughs> Chip from Brownsburg, Indiana. You got it. Brent from Greenwood, Indiana. Minnie from Advance, Indiana. Big D from Plainfield, Indiana. Yep. I don't even know where I'm from. Whitestown. Whitestown, Indiana. That's where I live. Okay, everybody. Do you know what? This, it's the weekend, isn't it? Thank goodness, yes. Yes, okay. Hey, everybody, Minnie, come on in here. We just want to tell you, everybody, we love you. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. We ca I just love this. I do. Chip, I want to truly thank you for being the best cameraman ever. Oh, oh wait till the unit sees this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody, we love you. Thank you for being part of Festool Live with us. It's because of you we continue to do this. We really appreciate it. I got a killer episode planned already next week. Get ready. And in fact, the next two weeks, I got already planned out. Um, have a safe weekend. And we'll see you next week. Same Festool time. Same Festool channel. Festool Friday. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend. That's a wrap, baby.